Today I'm going to show you my file effects hack. Um, I have been just fascinated with the whole file effects revolution that's out there now. I don't understand it, but I'm fascinated by it. And I feel like maybe I'm missing out on something really fun by not participating, so I thought I would try to participate. I don't know how this is going to work. Um, I don't have much of a need for a day planner at this point in my life. You know, my children are grown. I'm retired. Basically, my life is just a series of doctor's appointments. <laughs> That's kind of basically it, which I keep up with quite well on here. I kind of thought this was the day planner that most of us were using nowadays, but apparently we're going back to, to some old school stuff. So I thought I would give it a try. I am not paying the, you know, 50 bucks more or less, sometimes a lot more, for a file effects for the brand name file effects i'm just not doing it it's not in my family budget um especially right now that i don't even know that i'm going to use this so you know i'm not going to do that this one is one that i found at goodwill several months ago and bought it and i didn't know why because you know i never know why i buy anything i just buy it because something tells me i need it usually i'm right <laughs> i do need it because I had this one, and it's a Franklin Covey. You know, it was nice at one time, but um, not something I would go out and, and buy full price on purpose because, you know, holy cow, I spent enough just on my iPhone, and I feel like I want to, and, you know, that was a lot of money, so I need to invest my efforts in that. So I use that as my calendar. I do have a wall calendar in my house that we all write down our stuff on so that at a glance we can see what's going on. So we have our iPhones, we have our wall calendar. Do I really need to record it three times? I, I don't know. You know, I don't know. Um, so I'm just going to see how this works. I don't know. It seems a little redundant to me, but I am going to give it a try because people are loving it and um, there's got to be a reason for that. So, I put together a faux file effects, I guess we'll call it, using my um, Goodwill um, planner that I bought. And my criteria for doing this was that, you know, I would put together some little decorations and things like everybody's doing, but they all have to fit in here. I don't want a separate organizer for my file effects decorations. And I've seen some really cute ones, y'all. I've seen uh, two or three videos of um, some gals are using these pink Craftsman tool totes that are so cute. Um, and it, it's just perfect to hold your, and some of them have got like several file effects, which I even more don't understand, but you know, that's their thing, whatever. So they've got all their file effects in there, and then they've got the pockets for all of their pins and, and their stickers and all that, and it really is cute. I'm, you know, since I'm just kind of giving this a whirl, I'm not going to go there. At least not yet, unless I, for some reason, this just turns out to be the most awesome thing ever, and I start using it a lot. Um, I'll show you what I've done with my repurposed, that's why I'm calling it a file effects hack. It's not really a file effects, and I've not really used the kind of stuff that I think you're probably supposed to use. But, you know, that's just me. So, this way is good if you're on a budget, you don't want to spend a lot, you know, you can join in the file effects fund without spending a lot of money. Or if you're like me and you're not sure if it's for you and you just want to give it a try, find just some kind of Goodwill planner thing or, you know, even just a discount store cheap day runner Diwali and give it a try before you plunk down all kinds of money on the special file effects things that you need. You know what? I was in the container store yesterday and I saw a planner that actually might have tempted me if I wouldn't have had to sell a kidney to pay for it. And I can't remember the name of it. Was it Russell, that Russell and Hazel brand? Is that the one? Oh gosh. I'll have to look. Okay, I'll look and see and I'll, I'll try to remember to put the link in the description because it was more of a 
<clears throat> just a hardback binder, you know, like a three ring binder, but it was a nice canvas colored, but it was smaller, and the inserts I really liked, but I picked up a package of inserts, and it was just the um, monthly dividers, you know, the divider tabs, January, February, March, up $24, just the dividers. No, not going to do it. So anyway, here's how I set up my little um, thing, and I got most of the ideas from other people from looking at their videos. One in particular is <coughs> her YouTube name is Mommy24CS, and I'll try to remember to put her link down there too because she is just adorable. I just love her videos, and that girl can shop. Let me tell you, she shops, and I like looking at what she buys, and I don't know why I'm so fascinated with it, because she has a very, her style is very um, cute. She likes very cute, sweet, you know, Hello Kitty and pink flowers and things, which are so not my style, but they're very much her style, and so I can definitely appreciate everything that she does with them, you know, even though it's not my particular taste. She does it, and she does it well, so I can appreciate that. And um, she's she's jumped on the the Filofax wagon, and has just all kinds of stuff. And I got some really good ideas from her. So if you're doing the the Filofax thing, you need to go watch some of her videos on how she's set her thing up and some of the stuff she's bought. She has great ideas. One of her ideas. Well, let me start in order. Okay, let's do this. Little pockets. Mine has this pocket here, and I bought these on a clearance rack. I don't know when. I don't know where. You know that story. But they're. I think you're. They're like photo mats. I think you're supposed to put them in your mini album and put a picture on them. Okay, I'm not going to do that. I don't use mini albums, but they were nice, die cut, pretty cardstocky things. So I got them, and I punched them. It's upside down. I punched them to fit my thing, and I've used those as my dividers. So there I have my dividers. And I had a couple left over, so I just stuck them in here. Now I've got a little zipper place right here. And in there I've put some extra index tabs. And I've got several different kinds. Okay, I got those. Those were on clearance somewhere at some point. Those are just the regular um, Avery kind of plasticky tabs. So I've got those. These I picked up at the container store yesterday. I did, there's a video for that. And what I did, this is one of Mommy 24 CS's ideas that I stole. And I think she mentioned in her video that she stole it from someone else. So I don't know who originated the idea, but whoever did, they're a genius. But you can take um, any sticky things, your washi tapes, I did with washi tapes and with these little tabs because they're sticky tabs and stick them on to old, this is like a hotel key card or you can use a gift card or old credit card, whatever, because you know, they're slick. So these will stick, but then they peel off easy. So there you go. So I just put a little bit of each on these cards so that I can stick them in my thing here. And I've got them with me if I feel the need to index something real fast. And then I've got these. These are some of the um, Smashbook brand that I got on the clearance rack at Hobby Lobby the other day. So that's what I keep in there is just some extra little index tabs. And then it has this little pocket right here. And I keep some of these. I found these on the clearance aisle at Walmart. And they're just... Um, you know, three by five cards, but they've got a, a slit in them so that you can use them as kind of a, you know, write some notes or whatever, and, and it sticks out like its own little index tab. So I thought those were really clever, and I might use that for something at some point. I don't know. And then um, these little credit card size pockets are what I use to put my washi tapes and some, uh, these are post-it notes, 
just stick some post-it notes on there and that works just fine. I think um, Mommy, I'm just going to call her Mommy because <laughs> I, don't, I don't know her name, <clears throat> but I think Mommy also used some, <clears throat> excuse me, some of those plastic acetate sheets that she um, punched and put in hers and then she put her um, sticky tabs and things on that, which is a great idea. So this is what I've got in here and um, go, it does fit. This one, I just stuck my, those are those little flags that I got at the container store, stuck those on another credit card thing. And then on this one, or on these two, I'm so sorry, that's my um, text message. I think I probably can put that on. Oh my gosh, I just revealed how geeky I really am. <laughs> that's my text tone. <laughs> when it goes off in the store, like every geek within 10 square miles finds me. <laughs> I am their queen. I admit it. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Post-it notes. I did the, you know, stuck them on a gift card deal. I did that with a couple different kinds. So I've got my, some post-its right there. So that's what I put in those little slots. And um, over here, this one came with some inserts, not all of them, you know, because it was Goodwill. It had some, but um, it had these three plastic things already in it, and this one is the little, it's got the ruler, and it had this kind of pocket thing, and these were the sides of some sheets that I cut down to use in here, and I hated to just throw them away, but they fit just perfect in here, so I stuck them in there for when I have to write small skinny notes about things, then I have <laughs> the perfect size sheet for it. So, you know, waste not, want not. And I put some gel pens in here. You know, these are the only pens I'm going to use with my book. I don't need a separate container of pens. I've got plenty right here. I don't have one of those you know those pens everyone's using that has like the four colors of ink in one tube? Remember like we used to have back in the day? Well, they're coming back now, I guess, with all new fun colors. I don't have one of those. I'm not going to go out and buy one. Um, I'm fussy about gel pens anyway. These, I like these. This is the, I can't pronounce it. I don't know if it's slicky or slissy or slicy. I don't know. It's S-L-I-C-C-I -C -C -I from Pentel. I like these because they are, they're like riding with a human hair. <laughs> That's what I like. I like a really extra, extra fine point. And these are 0.25. So if you know anything about pen nib sizes, you know that's small. So it, it is very fine. Um, and this is what I like. And they're good, good gel. They're smooth. They don't skip. So we get along great. So those are my pins that I use in here. Then it had this um, credit card holder, which I could use to put, you know, more tapes and stuff in, but um, I didn't have any more. So I, I put actual cards in there for some business cards, you know. And then the first little section here, okay, I'll hide that because I don't want you reading my grocery list. That's a little bit personal, don't you think? Probably. Is some blank sheets for my grocery list, which I keep on my fridge is where I write my grocery list. So I don't know that I really need to keep it here too. Um, if I take it off the fridge, then my family, you know, I've got them trained. When they run out of something, they got to write it on that notepad on the fridge. If they don't write it down, it don't get bought. <laughs> you know, that's the rule. I don't want to hear it if I come back from the store without the item that they needed because they didn't write it down. That's my own fault. So I got to have that list on the fridge. Do I need to rewrite it here? I don't know. I stuck it there because I didn't really have much of anything else to put in here. So there's my grocery list. And I used, through this whole book, I used really kind of my junk journal papers. This was a notepad that I already had. 
It was about the right size, so I punched it, stuck it in. Um, I don't see any need to buy planner pages. For one thing, they're ugly, which I guess is why everyone has all their little decorative things to make them pretty. But if they start out pretty, then you need fewer decorative things, right? Well, that's my logic anyway. So, this whole thing, I used what I had. <clears throat> and in some cases, what I had was what came with it. This came with the planner, um, and I just left it there. So, you know, there's that, but all the other inserts I took out. Next, I have my to-do list, and I printed out a couple different ones. This is one that I had for my junk journals that I actually bought at a discount store. You know, you get those dollar... Um, notepads. So I put some of those in there and then I found this online and printed it out. And what I found is that printing out, I can find plenty of free stuff to print out to put in the books, but sometimes I have to cut it down weird because of the size. You know, like I had to cut off all the little boxes to get it to fit right. I don't like this size. This is too small for me to be of any practical use. And I looked on the Filofax site to see if maybe they were bigger, you know, and people were, and that's why people are liking them so much, but they're not. This is the same size as, I wrote it down, the Filofax Personal and the Filofax Slimline, the same size page. And the only bigger one is the A5, which is the big honking $100 Filofax thing. That one has the page size that I would be more comfortable with, but you know I'm not paying that for it. So, and this is what I had, so I'm using it. But this really is too small. A lot of the things that I've printed out to use are almost unusable because they're so small. So that I've got there. I got I've got a tabby right here for receipts, um, and I didn't know how I wanted to do that, so I just did it a couple different ways. I used some of my junk mail envelopes, put a couple in there, and I had a coin envelope, so I put some receipts in there, so a couple different ways to try out, and I really kind of like this, you know, everything is not matchy-matchy, matchy-matchy makes me nervous, I like, I like mismatched, you know, freestyle looking stuff, so that really appeals to me here. This I tabbed weekly. This is for my weekly calendar. I have no need for a daily thing because, you know, I um, don't really have that much going on at this point in my life. And it was confusing to me to have a daily page in my planner, but then also use a day book or a smash book. And then what about my journal? And then I'm all confused. I don't know how all of these work together separately. You know, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know, but I will tell you that I have a feeling what I'm going to end up doing is exactly what Marianne Kensington is doing. Now, she's someone else you need to go check out her version of the file of facts, day planner, date book, whatever. I forget what she calls it, but go. I'll, I'll put her link down there. She actually is combining a date book day planner concept with a junk journal using composition books which is I think is brilliant you know and I'm all about using what you have or what you can get really cheap she and I are like soul sisters that way we're both really big on that and um, she's got it going on I'm I'm gonna go rewatch her videos and then maybe uh, see what I can come up with using her inspiration because that might be the way to go since I'm really confused as to how this is going to work with my day book and my smash book and do I really want them all separate? I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, back to my weekly thing. Um, yeah, see, doctor, doctor, doctor. I just printed out. These I just made up, you know, drew the lines do several of them on one sheet of paper, photocopied them, printed them out, and I printed them out on some scrapbook paper that I really didn't like. So, you know, some of them have um, pretty backs on them, and then I had some scraps from cutting scrap paper down, so I just put a little pocket there for coupons or whatever. But I kind of like the, um, the look of 
they're all different. I found, I don't know, four or five different styles of weekly planner sheets that were for free download on the internet. And I just started printing some out. And, you know, I'll see how they work. There may be one that I fall in love with and decide to use it or not. <laughs> You know, I don't know, but there's a bunch out there. Um, if you just do a Google image search, you'll find them. So I just, I just printed out an assortment, and we'll see how that goes. But I liked the printing them on scrapbook paper because then you get a pretty on the back. Next is monthly calendar, and again, you know, I keep a monthly calendar on my wall where we write our stuff. I don't know that I'm going to need to write it all again here, but I do sometimes need to look at the months at a glance and see, you know, which days fall when or whatever. So I printed these out, and I found a couple different styles, I printed out those, and then I've got this one too that's an undated, you know, where you can fill it in yourself. So there's that, a couple different options there. And then a yearly calendar, again, you sometimes need to look at the whole year to see which date is when, so I printed that one out. I printed a lot from this one site. I'll, I'll try to remember to put that link down there because she had some really cute calendars. And, oh, that's a dates to remember. I haven't done anything yet with it because I never can remember the dates I need to remember, so I might actually need to use that. Then my next tab is for lists. And I haven't filled this out yet because I didn't want to. I didn't want to put that on YouTube when it was all filled out because sometimes I do have some common sense accidentally. But I do need a place to um, keep up with my passwords. Um, you know, I know you're supposed to be very careful with that. Don't write it down where someone can find it. But I do have to write it down. You know, because they're they're different, and I get confused. I, I don't know. This is why I don't use a nickname online. I use my real name because I tried to use a nickname way back when, and I never could remember who I was. It was too confusing. So <laughs> I can't do that. So pass, keeping up with passwords is a challenge for me. So this one, I really like this because you know it had big a nice big area to work with printed a couple of those out, but then I found this password tracker. It was a little different, but it might be a little too small. I don't know. I'll give it a try. I might use this. It's a list for books to read. And then I have, okay, directions. I need this because it is something that I did have written down in another little book somewhere, but I'm very directionally challenged. Like, I can get lost backing out of my driveway. It's really, really bad. So, um, I have to write down directions. And I actually prefer to write them down rather than use like a Garmin or a GPS thing because I have trust issues and I don't trust it. I always think that it's wrong. I have to look on the map and plot it out myself and then I write it down in a language that I can understand, which, and I'm probably the only one. But these are places that I don't go often. So when I do go, you know, if it's like once a month, I forget from one time to the next how to get there. Now my husband, he can go someplace one time and then five years later go back and he remembers exactly how to get there. You know, I, I can remember for a week and then it's gone. So I have to write down how to get to, you know, like the airport and back to my hometown. I can't remember how to get there. And then those are personal addresses. You don't need to see that. So that is what, oh, and I printed this out just because it was there. But it's a grocery list meal planner thing, which is kind of hilarious since I don't really cook. So mine would be like cereal, sandwich, frozen pizza, <laughs> cereal, cereal. <laughs> So I, don't, I probably won't have much use for that, but in case I get a wild hair and decide to cook, I have that. And in my pen holder, I stuck a little, that's a little skinny glue tube thing because I know I'm going to want to, you know, glue something down at some point. So there is my file of facts hack done on the cheap for, um, you know, those of us who want to 
don't spend our dollars on more fun stuff. And if this is fun for you and this is where you want to invest your money, go ahead. But not me. Um, <clears throat> you know, I'll give it a try. And if I absolutely love it, then I might invest more. But I, I like the printing, the mis mismatched stuff, because it's, it's junk journal-y a little bit, which appeals to me. It's more personal, it's more colorful, it's more fun, it's not as, as boring and, and um, mundane. Um, I just, I like that. So, I'm going to give this a try. See how it works. See if I love it. See if I catch the bug. Oh, it has a pocket here. I just stuck some scrapbook paper scraps that I'd trimmed off of the other sheets to... I don't know. I might decorate something with... I don't know. I just stuck them there. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, don't forget to check out Mommy24CS and Marianne Kensington and um, see what they've got going on and give it a whirl. If you want to join the Filofax revolution, start uh, small and cheap, see how you like it, and then go from there. Um, okay, that's all. The end.